So I have my genuine Canon battery that I've had for uh, about two years now. I have these no-name ones that don't even have any sort of logo or brand name on them that I got uh, earlier today. Got two of them. And I have a couple of these Wasabi Power batteries that I've had for half a year now. And I thought I'd do a, a little measurement. So um, what I'm going to do is I have a uh, cheap charger that I'm going to take apart and use as a battery holder. I'm going to wire in some charge leads to the, uh, the ones on here. And then with a um, somewhat advanced battery charger that has a discharge mode, I'm going to measure the actual capacity of the batteries. So all of these batteries were charged earlier today. Uh, I used a genuine Canon charger. Waited till they all turned green on the uh, charge indicator light. And uh, well, let's uh, let's get to it. So the first step is to uh, take apart this charger. There are no visible screw holes, but I can kind of feel a uh, cav a couple cavities behind the sticker. So let's uh, investigate. Alright, so we have uh, a, a fairly low cost charger that I've broken apart and will not be reusing, so I'm going to throw away most of it. And we have here the positive and negative leads that go to the um, battery. Actually, I'm just going to uh, desolder them and then solder on a uh, charge lead that I've got here that I can use. So now we have some uh, convenient charging leads attached to the uh, what is now just a battery holder. And um, <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm going to hook up the uh, charging adapter to my charger. And so this charger will do um, a rather wide variety. You can do lithium batteries, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, lead, and it will charge, discharge, or even cycle them. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to uh, discharge mode because all of the batteries have been fully charged. And in this particular case, it doesn't matter that I have it set to LiPo, although supposedly these are all lithium batteries, um, well, lithium ion. And, um, but that doesn't matter for discharge because where all we're setting is a discharge current rate or discharge current and then the cutoff voltage. And so these batteries are 7.2 volt or 7.4 volt for uh, some of the other ones. And that would indicate either a two cell lithium battery or a six cell nickel metal hydride battery. In either case, you'd want to cut off at around six volts, which is going to be the uh, recommended cutoff for a lithium battery and pretty close to the recommended cutoff for a nickel metal or nickel cadmium battery. So let's start with the cheapest batteries first, these uh, no name batteries. So I'm going to set it to half an amp because that'll be a little bit more gentle and that would be kind of a good mix of uh, video mode and photography mode. And we want it to cut off at 6 volts. And so we can see here that 
It started out at around 8.2, 8.3 volts, which would indicate a fully charged lithium battery, which is good. We're currently discharging at a rate of half an amp. The time elapsed is 18 seconds, and the capacity drawn out of the battery is currently 3 milliamp hours. So let's see uh, how far this will go. So we're back here, and uh, this was one of the um, no-name batteries that had no logo, no name. As you can see, it claims to be a 1500 milliamp hour battery, and uh, it doesn't look to be anything like that. I'm getting just under 500 milliamp hours out of it. So that's rather disappointing. and a very blatant lie on the label. But for the price, I'm not all that surprised. Anyway, let's test out another battery. So I'm going to remove the no name. And let's try one of the Wasabi Power batteries. These claim to be a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So I've got that in there. And I'm going to go through another discharge cycle. Same thing, half an amp down to 6 volts. Alright, so the uh, Wasabi power battery has finished. Uh, discharging and it's a little better than the uh, no name it's at around uh, 787 so just under 800 milliamp hours which is uh, still really pathetic considering that the label which uh, isn't in focus label claims 2000 so that's quite a big difference that's still way under half the rated value which should be embarrassing for them but I'm guessing nobody's gonna hold them accountable anyway let's check the Canon battery and see how it performs so we'll uh, disconnect the wasabi power battery Alright, so now I've got the Canon one installed. Start again, same thing, half amp, cut off at 6 volts. Alright, we'll be back when this is done. A couple hours have passed and I uh, forgot that my charger slash discharger has a timer cut off for the discharge mode. So as you can see it's been 120 minutes, 2 hours. It's uh, pulled out just under a thousand milliamp hours and we're down to 6.2 volts. So it's pretty close to drained. But I'm going to restart it again and we'll need to add this 999 to the number we get at the end. Alright, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as I mentioned before, we had just under a thousand, and then it cut off. So we started it back up and we got another 33. So basically, uh, the Canon battery held just over a thousand milliamp hours. The Wasabi power batteries held uh, a little over 800 milliamp hours, 
and then the no-name ones uh, were horrible at 500 milliamp hours. So there we have the results. The uh, Canon battery is clearly the best uh, by a pretty good margin. It held a uh, little over a thousand milliamp hours and considering this is my oldest battery and it's only rated for 1120, that's actually a very accurate reading. It was probably around that when it was brand new. So the only honest brand here is Canon, which uh, I guess isn't terribly surprising considering the pricing of the others. Um, but yeah, the Canon held just over a thousand. The Wasabi Power held, I believe, 850, if I remember correct, uh, which is well below the rated 2000. So this is pretty much a straight out lie. And uh, it's unfortunate that I doubt anybody's going to be able to keep them uh, or to hold them accountable for their lies. And then worst of all is these, um, I thought they were no name, but I was looking at the, uh, the box they came in and they're actually newer or newer brand. I'm going to pronounce that newer. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, they're, they're just a joke. They're a little under 500 milliamp hours. They're rated at 1500. Um, I guess the only benefit I could claim is that they're lightweight, but that's about it. They're certainly not good for doing video when you're going to be draining your batteries pretty quick. Uh, and speaking of weight, just for completeness, I'll go ahead and uh, weigh them. Alright, so the Canon battery feels the heaviest. And it's uh, 50 grams. The Wasabi Power feels identical. just over 46 grams and these newer brand batteries are 38.4 grams and uh, this isn't terribly surprising because they all claim to be lithium batteries and um, generally speaking to get a higher capacity for a given battery chemistry you need more weight um, there are small I guess you might call them evolutionary changes in a chemistry that will give you a little bit better capacity for a given weight, but it won't be that drastic over the years. So yeah, if you're looking for batteries and uh, you're not sure what to get, just a simple uh, comparison of weight could give you a, a quick ballpark estimate, assuming they aren't you know, trying to cheat you and, I don't know, putting lead weight in there or something. <laughs> anyway, so there's... Um, a little quantitative review of a Canon, a Wasabi Power, and a newer brand battery. Hope this was helpful for some of you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.